Hey there. Today we're going to talk about Kune Foods, a Kenyan food tech startup that rose and fell in just one year. Kune Foods was founded by a French entrepreneur, Robin Rich, in December 2020, with a mission to provide affordable, tasty, and ready to eat meals to individuals and businesses. The meals costed between $2 to $3 and were available through their website, app, canteens, fridges, and vending machines. Kune's idea was a hit and they quickly raised $1 million in pre-seed funding and secured a loan from a Kenyan bank. However, some Kenyans criticized the project, feeling that Rich was benefiting from a white privilege in Kenya. Despite the criticism, Rich remained committed to changing the food delivery landscape in Kenya. Kune planned to expand by establishing a factory, hiring 100 delivery personnel as well as hiring 30 employees consisting of a team of user experience and marketing professionals. Kune Foods utilizes a hybrid cloud kitchen business model that mix cloud and dark kitchen ideas. The company boasted of its capacity to deliver meals within 30 minutes after placing an order. They developed a food factory that could produce 13,000 meals per day and they had plans to develop their own fleet of electric motorcycles. However, on June 23, 2022, Kune Food announced its insolvency on LinkedIn barely a year after its launch. The company had lost its control of its supply chain and from the 7th June the same year, there were no food orders made on the food app. Some argued that Kune failed because it was trying to solve an existing problem, but the service industry in the region requires a huge overhaul and a dramatic improvement. Nairobi is a big, modern, vibrant city, and the demographic, lifestyle, and the income trends that make food tech viable globally are all present in here. However, Kune's 6,000 individual and 100 corporate clients were not a direct representative of the market potential, and that is why it was experiencing a 30% week on week growth on meals orders at the end. Inflation, as well as failure to secure 3.5 million US dollars in growth funds, were the main reasons why Kune failed. Apparently, Inflation eroded Kune's gross margin from 48 to just 5%. However, even if that were true, it is not a sufficient explanation for the outcome. Rich tried talking to 100 investors, but they all passed, showing that something was seriously wrong with the Kune's number. Kune's burning of cash rather than its initial slow uptake killed it. In the competitive world of food tech startups, Kune's demise serves as a reminder that success depends on more than just having a good idea. It requires a well-executed plan, efficient management, and the ability to adapt to the changing circumstances. That's it for today's video. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Kune's rise and fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.